Yes, yes, welcome back to another video and in the week that we can potentially clinch the Premier League title for the third season in a row, once and for all this Sunday versus Chelsea, following the battering Arsenal received at home to Brighton yesterday, a massive debate has sparked on YouTube and amongst the footballing media world. Have Arsenal bottled the Premier League versus are City just that good and can two things be right at the same time? Of course, I want to have a chat about this. I want to give my opinions on the whole situation. I want you guys to get down below in the comments and give your thoughts smash a like subscribe to the channel and let's have a good chat right now do i think arsenal have bottled the premier league out and out yes or no yes i absolutely do i believe context and objectives can change uh, over the course of the season have they bottled it in the context of what their objectives were last August, which were to finally break into the mould of top four once again, Champions League football, where big Arsenal football clubs should be? No, it's not a bottle job. But when you get yourself into a position where you're eight points clear of a, of a semi-struggling Manchester City team who we couldn't find consistent form, there was a stage where we hadn't won more than four games in a row, should you be able to see it out? Yes, you absolutely should if you're eight points clear. They have spent the longest period on top of the Premier League table to not go on and win it. To not go on and win it. For me, that is a bottle job. And I want to have this conversation about why it is a bottle job. And some of the mistakes Arsenal probably made along the way. And you're, some Arsenal fans out there might be saying, Hugh, who are you to be telling us what mistakes we made along the way? I'm just telling you based on my experience of our successful Premier League campaigns over the last decade even, as far back as the Roberto Mancini days, but more recently I think I'm going to focus on the Pep Guardiola days, and it's purely about the winning mentality. I think the biggest mistake Arsenal probably made throughout the whole season, and I mean more so the 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 fans who were talking about you know, focusing on the Premier League and this whole gimmick of bigger fish to fry. I know there, I do know a lot of Arsenal fans, and I'll give them credit, who were a lot more reserved throughout the whole season. You know, they were saying, listen, let's not underestimate this Man City team because they've shown in the past they can do crazy runs and go on to, you know, steal a title off the likes of Liverpool, who were 10 points clear of us in previous seasons. So don't underestimate them. But there was a lot of very silly Arsenal fans this season who said it was a one-horse race. Um, you know, bigger fish to fry. Haaland makes City worse. Pep's got the tactics wrong they don't want it as much as us and um, Arsenal have the heritage and history over Manchester City this is what they thought was going to carry them to a Premier League title so instead of just focusing on what they need to do they were more focused on why they deserve it more than us which made little sense to me but here we go right mistake number one for me was the FA Cup plenty of you will remember Nathan Ake locked down Bakayo Saka that evening and scored the winning goal in the Etihad Stadium tonight Arsenal have not won in the Etihad in a long long time and uh, you know many years gone by they have been on the receiving ends of batterings five nils and um, three and four goals at a time in, in, in other games too it's been a place where they can get absolutely no joy for me this was a massive opportunity for Arsenal to come to the Etihad even if it's not in the Premier League and just show us a bit of something. Show us a bit of something that you can come and compete with us on our own patch. Even though it's FA Cup, had they come to our ground that night and knocked us out, I would have been sitting there saying, okay, yeah, they've, um, they've leveled up. They've leveled up. They've come to the home of the champions. They've come to the Lions' den, albeit not in the Premier League. Uh, and they've, they've put us to bed tonight in this competition. But they didn't do that. They rotated. They don't want to focus on FA Cup. They don't want to distract themselves from the fantastic first half of the season they've had. Great position. They put themselves in for the Premier League. They want to focus on that. I said, okay, fine, whatever. You know, if that's the way you feel, it is what it is. They told me then, when you come to the Emirates for that league game, you know, then you'll see what this Arsenal team... No rotating, no rotating business. You'll see what this Arsenal team is made of you. I said, all right, we'll see. We go there. I was there. Yeah, we slapped them 3-1. We slapped them through one with less possession as well. We bullied them as well. Physically, we bullied them that night. Uh, and then after that game, all of a sudden, they were flip-flopping. Fragile FC. Uh, I think a lot of these fans of Arsenal are fragile FC. They start flip-flopping. After the game, I went around to the AFTV fan cams and a lot of the people who were watching these were coming up to me saying, oh, we fucked it, you. We fucked it. You know, you'll go on and win it now. That's that. You know, you've caught us. It's done. We go and draw to Nottingham Forest that weekend. Did we panic? No, we didn't. Because we don't crumble that easily. We don't crumble just because we, we, we've we've provided or we've delivered ourselves some adversity. We've we messed it up for ourselves a little bit. We knew long, long, long way to go. This is February. Nothing's won at this stage. 
So we beat them. We go and draw Nottingham Forest. Um, they're back on top of the league and they continue to stay on top of the league for a long time. Mistake number two, or mistake number three maybe, was the Europa League. They decided they wanted to pull out of the Europa League or they believed they wanted to pull out of the Europa League because at this stage it's just tunnel vision. Win the Premier League. We're top of the league. We have the eight-point cushion. How can we fuck this up if we have nothing else to worry about? Now, this is where it gets interesting for me because my whole process of thought along then was... Even though you may not want to win the Europa League or the FA Cup as much as you want to win the Premier League, I believe winning breeds winning. So winning mentality is bred through winning every single game you play. And this is an approach that Pep Guardiola has adopted and implemented into this Manchester City team from the moment he walked through the door. Four Carabao Cups in a row, all the Premier Leagues, and the FA Cups too. Every single game Pep played, he wanted to win because he believed that if you want to win every single game and you do do that, it will all amount to that great success that you want to achieve. I thought it was a bit of a an L mentality, a weak mentality to say bigger fish to fry. I'm not a believer in that. I think all your fish should be fried to get the big fish. You know what I'm saying? Not just focus on one fish, get them all into a pan and cook them all at once. You know, proper beast mentality. <laughs> so they said that. Anyway, whatever. They get knocked out of the Europa League and then we're into the kind of home stretch at this point, aren't we? We're at the, the, the last, the most recent international break and we're looking at each other's fixtures and saying, where could we potentially drop points? Where could they potentially drop points? And my whole line, the whole international break then was any game any game we know all too well all of these games in the business end of the season are potential banana skins everybody's fighting for something relegation europe title race whatever pride everyone's fighting for something so no game is one you can identify um as as a guaranteed win but also fans start going we beat city we beat newcastle and we beat brighton and we will be premier league champions i'm going wow okay right well, see how that works out for you so they go to anfield they get a 2-0 lead they they not bottle that because i think in isolation that game if you draw at anfield you know what fair enough that can happen to absolutely anybody west ham comes along same situation 2-0 lead bottle that drop more points surely you'll go and beat southampton surely at home in the Emirates you'll go and beat southampton no they drop more points there these were not games. These were not games that anybody identified. West Ham and Southampton specifically. Nobody identified these as potential. You know, these were ones that Arsenal should win. You must win. If you want to win a Premier League, you must win. We were focused on ourselves the whole time. I was fully focused on Manchester City the whole time. If you want to win the Premier League, you've got to go and win those games. And they did not do that. The pressure was getting to them. The pressure was getting to them. You draw away to Liverpool, you have a whole week to wait to West Ham. You draw to West Ham, you have a whole week to wait to Southampton. You draw to Southampton, you have a whole week to wait to come to Manchester, where they got slapped up 4-1 there as well. This is another example of why I believe this one game a week business, for, for a team with a genuine winning mentality, they don't work. They don't work in tandem they don't go parallel you can't have the one game a week business and will forfeit other competitions and you want the winning mentality this is where they've shown their inexperience in these situations particularly the newer arsenal fans so this is where they, i think they made the mistake um the mistakes along the way and we were just fully focused on ourselves we were all about the one game at a time you know we have champions league games we had fa cup games and um, you know leipzig Bayern. we had all the premier league games and we just kept winning and winning and winning sam adelice he's gonna take points off city nope Sean Dyche is going to take points off City. Nope. Arteta is going to come up to the Emirates. Nope. None of this happened. They were so focused on what we were doing that they took their eye off what they should have been doing. Focus on your games. Go and win your games. Don't worry about us. You know, you can't imp impact what happens in our games. And then we go and beat Everton in, in our fourth last game of the season yesterday in Goodison Park. And you could see it. They were so dejected by what we had done that morning that once they got out in the pitch against Brighton, it was just... They've already booked their holidays, mate. They're already off to Dubai in their own heads, off to America, wherever they're going for their summer holidays. This is what I'm saying, man. They underestimated City all season, and we told them the shark was swimming, and there was blood in the water, the shark was circling, and they've been caught. They've been caught. We now need two points from three games. We could potentially have won this league with two games spare? From a position of eight points behind not so long ago? Arsenal Football Club have bottled this league and they've bottled it through inexperience, focusing on the wrong things and just talking too much. 
City Champions again this Sunday, please God. Let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments. I think it's a great conversation. It might be a bit controversial. Some people may not agree with everything I said, but it's the name of the game, isn't it? So let me know all of your thoughts down below. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Champions! <laughs>